Hi, I'm Will. I thought I would go out for a drive today in the Baja and just kind of talk about how I converted this air-cooled engine to Speed Uno fuel injection. This has been a year in process of working on the car and getting the engine up and going, but let's just uh, start it up and go for a little drive. So guys, if you want to know more about it, subscribe below, leave a like, let me know. I know I'm probably going to miss a few things in this video. I'm not scripted here or anything, so I'm probably going to forget several things as I go along, but I want to try and help out the community that helped me out as I was trying to get this thing all together. So, I guess to start off with, uh, I've always wanted to run fuel injection, and I just kind of started getting online, and I found a a cool open source project called Speed Uno, and it's uh, a fuel injection system ran off of an uh, Arduino Mega 2560, I believe it is, and uh, uses a little daughter card. There are several different versions out there. I'm running the NO2C, so no overhang, two channel, which just means that the driver board is the same size as the Mega. So I ordered that soldered that all up. I do have a build video for that. I'll link below. And then from there it became how to get everything mounted to the engine. Um, I came across a really nice crank position sensor from the Dub Shop. Uh, I'll put a link to his shop below. No sponsorship or anything there. Just uh, really good products and it works really well. It's a uh, VR crank trigger that you mount to uh, crank fully on the engine. Uh, hooked that all up and then uh, had to figure out what I was going to do for fuel rails. So uh, I modified the intake half castings to accept the fuel injectors. Welded in fuel injector bungs and built fuel rails to go on the end castings. I'm running 22 pound an hour LS2 fuel injectors along with LS2 ignition coils. I'm running four coils and wasted spark. So running batch fire and wasted spark at the moment since I have a two channel board and can't run a four cylinder engine in sequential mode. So but to me it works out beautifully. It, it's been really nice. Uh, some other things, so I've got a Weber 44 IDF that has been gutted, pulled the Venturis and the, the boosters out of it, everything, just to open it up some more. And that's what I'm running for a throttle body. Uh, made it really easy to mount. It's all pretty uh, standard stuff for Volkswagen engines. So uh, I did make a bracket and mount a Ford style uh, throttle position sensor on the end of the throttle body and then I 3d printed a velocity stack for the top of the Venturi on the throttle body and mounted the intake air temperature sensor in there uh, let's see I'm also running a coolant temperature sensor since it's an air-cooled engine there's only a couple of different ways to really get warm-up enrichment. You can run off of oil temperature or off of cylinder head temperature. And the Dub Shop sells a pretty nice uh, coolant temperature sensor that mounts on the cylinder tin mounting bolts. So uh, put that in there. That works really well. Runs about 140 degrees give or take on a, a normal day just once it's it's fully warmed up so um, for fuel system I'm running a Ford F-150 from like a mid 80s pickup in here for my fuel pump and then I run a Corvette fuel pressure regulator fuel filter with the pressure regulator built into the filter um, that way I don't have to run an external regulator. Uh, that gets you up a little bit higher than standard. I believe it runs 54 
PSI, but as long as you're tuned in for it, that all works out very well. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to think of all the other things that I've done. Uh, I have a cam sync from CB Performance. I don't really need cam sync given that I'm running Waste of Spark and Batch Fire, but I needed to plug the whole distributor was anyway. And I figured running a cam sync couldn't hurt. And if I ever did want to upgrade in the future to full sequential and run a different board, I could do that. So uh, I feel like that helps out. I'm not. Uh, but yeah, that pretty well, I think, covers everything I've got going on generally on this engine. I want to make some more. Oh, I. Stepper motor style speed control, idle air control. Uh, I custom made a housing to fit it. So I took a chunk of aluminum and machined it down to fit the valve and wired that in with the stepper motor control. Uh, I have a hard time getting closed loop idle working. It hunts and surges a lot. I'm more than willing to get input from there on what we might be able to do to help with that. But right now I've got it running in open loop mode. And honestly, I think I've got it tuned pretty well. It, it starts up nice and then as it warms up, that valve closes down. And between the four wire stepper motor and running uh, advanced idle control where I'm adjusting timing, it, uh, it really seems to have a nice smooth idle all the way through the, the temperature range. So. Uh, does nice in cold startups. Um, I've been really happy with the results. So um, I think that's about it for today. Let me know how you guys like it, what questions you have, and I'll try to make some more videos as I go along about 